There are many things that can frustrate a machinist in the manufacturing environment. Tools not being where they're supposed to be, poor management practices, impossible scheduling deadlines, the list goes on. But probably one of the most frustrating things that can occur, and does occur, is poor to no communication between the machinist and the quality department. Having been a machinist and an inspector, I know all too well the sour relationship that can develop between these two when they fail to see eye to eye. I've seen complaints coming every which way. Quality takes too long. The machinists keep bringing in bad parts. You can't trust that stupid CMM. Now I'm going to tell you right now that both sides do have their legitimate gripes in given situations, but first we're going to talk about the inspectors. If there is one issue that I will always side with the machinist on, it is when inspectors simply do not understand the machining process and merely fail parts with no desire to try and figure out the issue. Nothing is worse than an inspector who disregards a machinist outright simply because his software says the part is wrong. An inspector who just hands over a CMM report painted in red and a nope, try again, is not a specialized employee. Rather, they are a part of the inefficiencies plaguing that company. Now, sometimes a problem might be as simple as an out-of-spec OD or an ID or an overall length, and these are easy to spot and fix. But as a machinist, I should know this before coming into inspection, which is in and of itself a matter for later discussion. What is really frustrating is when the part in question is complex. If you have an intricate aerospace part with multiple datums making up different datum reference frames composed of various size tolerances, some of which are in maximum material condition, some in regardless of feature size, then sometimes the fix is not so simple to deduce without good quality feedback. A good inspector will discuss the part with the machinist and try to figure out what the issue is. Did the machinist employ mechanical checks on the floor? What checks were those? Are we clamping on a non-datum surface creating locating issues? Did they properly cut new jaws before running a second operation? Maybe subsequent operations are removing so much material that it's warping a previously inspect feature. These are issues that a well-versed inspector, familiar with the processes and methods of the manufacturing environment, can help identify and therefore expedite good parts coming off the machine. For me, the inspector is more than a traffic cop calling out what parts are good and bad, although they are this too. What makes an inspector a really good inspector or a great inspector is being able to be a part of the solution. That is, they don't just yell fire, they grab a dang hose. Now one might argue here that this is not the inspector's job to fix the machinist's work. They merely report on the results. I, however, do not agree with this position. To me, this is like a doctor who tells you your blood pressure is terrible, but gives you no advice on how to bring it back into spec. Sure, they don't have to tell you how to improve your health, but we would probably consider them a bad doctor if that is how they practice their craft. In my mind, an inspector who cannot or will not get their machinists on track to making good parts is just as guilty as that doctor. A good inspector has an understanding of the situation and can make recommendations to and with the machinist on how to manufacture accurate parts. Now before I get too far leaning into inspection, it is important to note that this is a two-way street. Again, I come from both sides of the divide here, and just as I think the inspector should know something about the manufacturing process, a machinist should be aware of how the dimensions on their print are defined and be able to decipher the various requirements. Having a solid understanding of GD&T and being familiar with various inspection methods will go a long way in making you a superstar machinist. Going back to our doctor's example, it doesn't look good for a patient if they're complaining about their cholesterol while eating a burger and fries. When you fail to know what is required for success, bad results tend to be the outcome. A good machinist will know the language and practices of their inspector and thus save much time and effort in the manufacturing process themselves. So if you are an inspector who does not understand the manufacturing process, or if you are a machinist who does not understand the inspection process, I have one piece of advice for you. Learn. If you work in quality, talk to your machinists. Ask them questions. Get to know how they set up their parts and how they went about machining the features. Get to know their struggles. Get to know how they do what they do and why they do what they do, and it will help you understand what you see on that CMM report in a whole new light. Now, if you're a machinist, you can learn too. If they need help in quality, volunteer. 
Become familiarized with how they inspect parts and why the inspectors do what they do. I guarantee you nothing but good will come from you becoming more versatile in the shop. No matter who you are, the more you know, the more valuable you will be. And the more valuable you are, the more likely you are to be treated and compensated as such. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for listening today. Our goal is always to help manufacturers be better at what they do, and we couldn't do it without any of you. So please hit all those buttons down below to make sure you are notified when we have new content come out. We'll catch everybody next time.